Now the doctor has done his preparation on number 31 for a crown. You can see that he has shaved down the anatomy with leaving enough of the actual crown of the tooth so that a uh, porcelain fused to metal or a gold crown, whichever they were gonna do, still can fit and seal on there tightly. One of the EFDA procedures that dental assistants after the doctor, we need to pack retraction cord between the gum and the tooth. And what the retraction cord does is it gets placed underneath the gum around the entire circumference of the tooth to push away the gums so that when the doctor comes in after five minutes of the retraction cord sitting there, he can get a really good impression and get some good margins in contact. So first you're gonna take a piece of retraction cord and you're gonna cut it. And there's different sizes of retraction cord. It totally depends on, the doctor will tell you. And you're just gonna cut a piece off to the length that will fit around the circumference of the tooth. And you always wanna leave a little bit of a tail hanging out. So when the doctor comes in, he can just pull it out and then you take the permanent impression to send to the lab to make the crown. So for this, you just need cotton tip applicators to help you hold the retraction cord. And this is what we called a retraction cord packer. There's two different ends. So if you're going to two different directions, you can use either end. So now you grab the retraction cord and you place it around the tooth. And again, there's a little bit that's gonna be hanging off so the doctor, so you don't wanna cut it too short. And then you just start, and it doesn't really matter where you start, but you just wanna start in one area and kind of push it under the gum. Now, mind you, the patient is numb, but the, the point of the retraction cord is to, again, push the gum away for five minutes so that the doctor can get the margins. So you lightly go around the tooth and you're pushing the retraction cord under the gum line. So you should not be able to see the retraction cord when it's under the gum line. And again, you're just doing this around the prep tooth. Again, the patient is numb, but they shouldn't be feeling any of this. So you lightly go around the entire tooth until it's under the gum. And as you can see, depending on the thickness of the retraction cord, is how much space it's gonna give the gum pushing away. So she's just working her way around and there's a perfect angle of how the retraction cord, you can't see it anymore, but it is under the gum, but you're leaving a little piece out so it's easy for the doctor to come in and grab and he will pull it out after five minutes before he takes the final impression to send to the lab. So you're pushing the retraction cord down in. You're making sure it's fully under, subgingibly under the gum. Now, retraction cords come either with a vasoconstrictor already on them, which a vasoconstrictor, you know, helps stop the bleeding. So again, he can get a, get a good impression. Or if it doesn't come already on the retraction cord, you would take your piece of retraction cord and you would soak it in the vasoconstrictor before placing it underneath the gum line. And the vasoconstrictor on the retraction cord is again to help stop the bleeding. Now, dental assistants are not technically allowed to place retraction cord if it has a vasoconstrictor on it. That is in the statutes that the Florida Board of Dentistry has issued. You can place the retraction cord if there is not a vasoconstrictor in it. And you will just need to check with your doctor on what he will allow you to do and what type of retraction cord you are using. So again, this sits in there for about five minutes to kind of stop the bleeding and push the gum away. After about five minutes, the assistant's gonna be getting ready to take the permanent impression and then to remove the retraction cord, you simply take your cotton pliers because remember you've left a little tail piece out 
and you can just pull it out. And now, if you were to sh push everything under the gum line, it would be very hard for you to get it out and find the piece, which is why you leave a little tail. And even on the Typodon, you can see it's left a little space in between the tooth and the gum, which is the point of the retraction cord so that when the doctor takes the final impression, he can get good margins and the margins are the bottom of the prep. So that's how we place and remove retraction cords.